There's a massive uprising going on in the Netherlands, and it promises to change the world like never before. We're going to see video from the ground out there in the Netherlands. We're going to see how Dutch politicians are trying but failing in their Trudeau-like crackdowns. And stick me to the very end of this video when I'll reveal how this massive uprising is part of a changing world order that's happening right before our very eyes. You are not... You don't want to miss this. Greetings, patriots all across the globe. Dr. Steve here with you, your patriot professor, helping to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. And gang, I have got some awesome news to share with you. As you know, we sold out a ticket literally in hours, I might add, for our upcoming premiere for our brand new movie, The Return of the American Patriot, The Rise of of Pennsylvania. Well, guess what? We have finally secured a bigger theater for our sold out premiere, and we now have a hundred more tickets available. So stay tuned because tomorrow I'm going to announce when those tickets are going on sale for our July 16th premiere in beautiful Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I would love to see you there. So keep a lookout for those tickets. More info coming tomorrow. Just a little tease there. So let's dive right in here, gang. As many of you know, the Netherlands is blowing up as we speak. Okay, Tens of thousands of farmers are protesting all over the Netherlands in response to lawmakers in The Hague, which is the Dutch parliament, who have voted to slash emissions by forcing farmers to use less fertilizer, cut their livestock herd numbers, which obviously involves killing their livestock, or even stop work altogether. In fact, farmers are complaining that these new measures are already causing some of them to shut down their farms for good. A lot of people don't know, but the Netherlands is the second largest agricultural exporter in the world. But for the hypersensitive environmentalism that pervades European politics via their various green parties, that kind of agricultural prominence is a problem because it produces too much nitrogen via the cattle-produced manure and fertilizer. Too much, of course, I should say, too much for radical green sensibilities. And so, as they're part of the European Union, the Hague is trying to bring those nitrogen emissions down to levels that the greens in Europe will find acceptable. And that now involves nothing less than the draconian proposal that would see a 30% reduction in livestock. And that has caused farmers throughout the nation to absolutely explode. In fact, it's becoming nothing less than a massive populist revolt with far more than farmers rising up and basically shutting down the nation. Protesters are blocking food warehouses and supermarket distribution centers. Fishermen are blocking ports in a show of uh, support for the farmers. Uh, the blockade is effectively preventing ferries from sailing, uh, trucks from delivering their goods, which of course is causing lengthy delays and massive inventory shortages. They've shut down Dutch highways and byways, very similar to the way the Freedom Convoy shut down Ottawa for those several weeks. Take a look at the result of these protests. These are the kinds of empty shelves that are greeting customers in Dutch supermarkets all throughout the country. The farmers have effectively shut down food distribution throughout their nation. This is obviously a very, very effective protest, and it's staggered the Dutch economy like nothing else. And it's not just the Dutch consumer that they're hitting. Here's how protesters responded when they showed up at the house of the newly appointed Minister of Nature and Nitrogen. <laughs>
how are the liberal globalists responding to all of these protests? Well, of course, they're going full Trudeau. Dutch police have begun cracking down on the protesters. They've been pulling out their guns. And at one point, they even started firing. Hey, hey, wapens, jongen, wapens. Hey, wolle, rij weg, jongen, rij weg. Wapens is daar. Ik heb het al film. Ja, ik heb het al film dat ze schieten. Ga weg, ga weg. Ga pleiten, je doet niet over te schieten, man. Nee, joh. Pik die stem. But again, despite these you know, Gestapo tactics. The Dutch people are not backing down. They're fighting back. Take a look at what happened when protesters caught undercover police that were there to spy on them. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't look very happy, that's for sure. And why would they be? Why would I mean, rather than address their concerns, their Dutch government is spying on them. And speaking of, by the way, how do you like this shirt? The very words of Davos' own Klaus Schwab, you own nothing and be happy. Well, you can get yours by clicking on the link below and enjoy our Christmas in July sale at our Turley Talks merch store. We've been winning so much of late that we wanted to celebrate those wins with a special 4th of July sale all throughout the month of July. So make sure to click on that link below. And for a limited time, if you buy two shirts, you're going to get one absolutely free that's right get two for yourself one for the patriot in your life they're gonna absolutely love you for it make sure to click on that link below or go to store.turleytalks.com all right so needless to say needless to say we ought to stand back a bit and take stock here of what's really going on in the netherlands and i think this tweet sums it up best uk government falling apart huge protests in the netherlands Germany running a trade deficit for the first time since the 1990s. Euro at a 20-year low versus a dollar. That'll teach Putin. <laughs> that is brilliant. A tweet is utterly brilliant because in many respects, it highlights the kind of economic transition that our world is going through right now as we speak. What we have to understand when it comes to economics is that the world in many respects runs on three things, okay? Food, fuel, and finance, right? We've talked about this before. Food, fuel, and finance. Up until this point, the globalist world that began to be constructed just after World War II, and that's come to be ruled by the Dolts in D.C. and the demons in Davos, right, and the bullies in Brussels. They're the, sort of the, the new holy, not-so-holy trinity, right, of the globalist world order, Brussels, Davos, and D.C., they believed, and particularly their bankers believed, that if you control finance, you control the world. If you control the banks, the cash, the currencies, you control the world. And certainly that's the way the ruling elite in the United States and the European Union have been operating these last few decades. With the dollar and the euro as the world's first and second default currencies, respectively, our ruling aristocracy believed they could do whatever ever they wanted to do because they controlled the finance that ultimately controls the world. What the breakout of the war in Ukraine has proven is that that economic model no longer works. And of course, if that what it follows that if that economic model no longer works, then the world political order that's been established on that economic model collapses. It implodes. And that's exactly what's happening right before our very eyes. What Russia is demonstrating for all the world to see 
is that that currency-based economic order is being crushed by a commodities-based economic order. What's going on, of course, is the big picture of what what's happening in the Netherlands at a microscopic level. But what's going on is that Russia, in its decoupling from the globalist system, Russia has taken the position that he who controls food and fuel is actually the one who controls the world. You, <laughs> you can't eat currency. You can't heat your house with digital money. He who controls food and fuel controls the world. And so... What the whole world is seeing, especially now in the Netherlands, is the triumph of a commodities-based economy over a currency-based economy. The political elite in the Netherlands are operating by an old, outdated playbook that no longer works in a world where food and fuel are far more precious than euros or dollars, for that matter. That, I believe, is what's happening here. Dutch farmers are coming out in mass and saying to the ruling elite, we will not allow your Davos-infiltrated policies to dictate our lives anymore. And until you repent of that arrogance, we are going to stop the flow of commodities throughout the nation to show you who really is in charge here. So it's pretty dramatic stuff. So obviously we'll be keeping our eyes on how things develop here in the Netherlands, but there is no question... The world really is changing in ways we couldn't have imagined even just a year ago. And it's a change where the dolts in Davos and D.C. and the bullies in Brussels are finding out the hard way that their elitist policies no longer have any place in our world. Now, before you go, you definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on Kamala Harris absolutely imploding in front of the cameras as more and more Democrats defect to the GOP. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.